Hi everyone, welcome to this short video that will cover how to add a usage-based item with different types of minimum commitments into your subscription using the Zone Advanced Billing Module provided by Zone & Company. Here we are in NetSuite and we're starting on a subscription for a customer called Absolute Inc. This is a one-year contract in this example. I currently have three services that are tied to this subscription and we're going to add one more. So to start, I'm going to give it a name. So we'll call it min commit test one. Just as an example, we're going to drop down and choose an item from the native NetSuite item catalog. I have a SKU called min commit usage. Um, and then this rate type is very important as we've seen in other videos, choosing uh, you know, either variable, fixed, one time, prepaid, or in this case, we're choosing this last option here. Um, which it actually defaulted to, which is fixed recurring plus usage. All right, so the first thing we need to do is set up what the minimum commitment is going to be. So some of the companies that we work with um, have minimum commitments that are, you know, based on some sort of package, you know, you buy the starter package and that you pay a certain dollar amount and that gets you a certain included number of units, right? So we're going to make the quantity one and we'll make this $5,000. So basically we're saying 5,000 is the minimum commit. And now we're saying with the included units, what does that get you? So in this case, we can choose 10,000. So if you pay $5,000, we'll bill that up front. In, the, in this case, it's monthly. So at the beginning of every month, they'll get a bill for $5,000. That gets them 10,000 units. And then if they go over 10,000, what do we want to bill them? So in this case, you know, I could choose 50 cents and just have a flat overage. I can also choose one of my price books and I could have tiered pricing for anything over the 10,000. But we're going to keep this example pretty straightforward. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and update my rating schedule as well. So now I'm just saying I'm going to rate monthly. I'm also going to bill monthly, but we could be obviously doing quarterly, biannually, every other month uh, or some scenario like that. So let's go ahead and save it. All right, so what it's done, if I scroll down here, is it's added a list of charges with service dates, bill dates, and a quantity and a rate that's going to be billed, and then the type of charge that it is. So you can see here, if I filter this by the fixed charges, I should have 12 service periods, 12 charges for $5,000 every single month, and those are being billed at the beginning of every month. So if I wanted to, I could have had this minimum build at the end of the month by checking this click this checkbox called bill in arrears. In this case, I'm saying they need to prepay us up front for the 5,000. And if I go to my usage charges, I should also have 12 usage charges with a service start date that is monthly and a bill date that's actually in arrears at the beginning of the following month. All right, so let's bring in some usage and see how these um, usage based charges will update. So in other videos, we've done the CSV upload. In this video, I'm just going to manually add a usage record. So the first thing we need to do is give it a start and an end date. Um, we could obviously be bringing in multiple usage charges daily, weekly, and be, being able to ag aggregate those. But in this case, I'm just going to choose the end of the month. You know, we can make the assumption that this was through an API or a CSV upload. And we'll choose 10,050. We'll go ahead and save that. Now I'm going to rate. Again, in a real world scenario, we would have rated across multiple subscription items. For my demo, I'm just rating this one particular example. And if I scroll down now that it's been rated, we can see that I have an overage quantity of 50 because I had 10,050 of usage, um, but I have included units of 10,000. So I prepay every month $5,000 for 10,000 units. I'm only getting billed now the overages. Okay, so if I actually unfilter this, to show all my charges on the 10-1 invoice, I will get the $5,000 prepayment for the next month plus overages and arrears from the prior months for $25. All right, so this is a very uh, straightforward use case for minimum commitments. Um, again, we see all different types, whether it's being billed at the, the end of the period, the beginning of the period, you know, doing quarterly, annually, things like that. I, I think one other scenario that we'll touch on here that I won't show an example is when we do minimum commitments that are applied after rating. So in some cases, particularly some of the ad tech companies that we work with, their minimum commitments are based on advertising spend. And so a lot of companies will prepay up front 
for you know five thousand dollars a month or ten thousand dollars a month and they'll do ad spend but maybe they don't spend all five thousand or all ten thousand every period right so there's different scenarios where they might want to roll that over or they might want to say well as long as your minimum uh, ad spend or usage is x dollars for the quarter you know here's what your billing is going to be so in that scenario we would use this minimum commitment tab where after we rate we could say what's the minimum amount you want to apply when do you want that minimum to take effect and when do you want it to end if you don't use your minimum and we need to add another charge to get you up to your minimum what's the SKU and NetSuite that we want to you want us to use and then we also have this option to aggregate and reverse charges so the scenario for that use case is where you'd use this would be if I said you need to use a minimum of five thousand dollars every quarter and then in month one if you used all five thousand and in month two you use zero you know I don't want to still have a minimum billed to me in month two for five thousand I've already met my quota or my minimum for the quarter in month one so in that case we kind of give that customer credit back and you would get no invoice in month two all right so there's various scenarios we use these you know some some companies want to have tiered minimums where maybe the minimum is going up every month so they'd have a different minimum with a different start date we'd have multiple lines here that could be added um, again this is a somewhat unique scenario that's you know we've really only seen in the ad tech industry but sometimes we've run across some SaaS companies that also have this all right thank you for watching this short video on how we handle minimum commitments within the zone advanced billing module for NetSuite provided by zone and company